Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, with a ton of offers online for the new Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, I thought we'd have a quick look at some of the customization options that everyone seems to be raving about. Helping you Pixel 6 users customize your home screens to match your styles. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here it is, the Pixel 6 which coming right out of the box brings with it a sophisticated look. Now I'm not just talking about that slick flat screen design with rounded edges but also because of the unique Android 12 theming options. So let's kick things off with this wallpaper and style section. Yeah, you'll be able to switch up the look and feel of your phone. And unlike some of the other phones out there, the Pixel 6 comes with some truly unique wallpapers right off the bat. Just simply head into the wallpaper section and you would come across a wide range of genres to pick from, with my favorite being the curated culture section. And of course, you'll be able to preview and set any one of them to either your home and or lock screen. Now additionally, within the wallpaper and styles, you can also adjust your phone's accent colors, which will affect your lock screen, quick access panels, as well as your phone's settings menu. And if this basic selection wasn't enough for you, alternatively, you can use a color palette created from the colors of your wallpaper, giving you a nice unique look. Now, the next one will straight up save you power on AMOLED devices. And personally, I do love the look of dark mode. However, the real hidden gem here comes in the form of this themed icons option, which once turned on, applies those dynamic accent colors from earlier directly onto our system icons. Now it is a great little tweak to unify the look of your phone as a whole, however, currently it is a bit limited, so I do hope that Google brings support for third party apps somewhere down the line. And finally here, don't forget to play around with the app grid section to customize the number of apps that you can see on screen at once. Next up, let's load in a couple home screen widgets. For this, just simply long press on the home screen menu and then head into the widget section. Now here, you'd find a categorized list of installed widgets. And keeping to Android 12's feeling of consistency, each one of the system widgets will use the accent colors that we picked in the wallpapers and style section. Now finally, within the home screen settings, you'll find the remaining handful of home screen options to fine tune your look, including the ability to turn off and on the Google feed and even adjust your at a glance settings. Now sadly, because Google loves to keep things as stock as possible, this is literally as far as the inbuilt customization goes. Well, that is if we don't include customizing the quick setting tiles, which apart from being that little bit bigger, the options here are exactly the same as previous Android versions. Just simply drag away the ones you don't want and replace them with ones important for you. Now personally, to take my Pixel 6 customization to the next level, I'll definitely be installing a third party launcher, Nova, as well as recreating one of my home screen setups. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.